Christianity. A huge difference between two kinds of believers in Christianity. Something that blew my mind when I realized that thing. Something that is not famous and not known in the world. Something so important to realize. And I'll tell you that thing. Jewish people considering Christians as idols worshippers. Why? Because Jewish people, first of all, they don't know Christianity. The majority of Jewish people, they don't know. We've never been taught Christians' rules and to know if it's wrong or right. Like, we just know that it's wrong. It's a different religion. And the rabbis that taught us, and in the books, and that's the halacha, is saying to us that Christianity is wrong, is a mistake, and it's not the right way. So Jewish people are staying away from Christianity. They don't want to taste it, they don't want to smell it, they don't want to hear about it. They know it's wrong and we don't want nothing to do with that. First, okay, can understand it, can respect that. You don't want to get anything foreign into your house. Can respect that, it's beautiful. But there is something to realize. Not all Christians are answering to that prototype of worshipping idols as the Gemara and the Talmud are presenting them. Because there might be a difference that is tremendous, that is huge. There are people in Christianity who believe that Jesus is God. That is their faith. I think it's called Trinity. They believe that Jesus, he is God. Now, for Jewish people to say that a man is God, that's a mistake. For us, like, that is the answer when we hear about someone like that, that that person is saying, that man was no man. He was not a man. He was God. It's God. He was God and he is God and he will always stay God. For us, simple Jewish people that are following halakha, that's a mistake. Based on the teachings and learnings I've been exposed to, tradition that we inherit from our ancestors, you can never say that something else except for God is God. You cannot. But you have millions or maybe even hundreds of millions of Christian people who does not follow that law of Trinity. And they will never say that Jesus is God. Just... They believe that Jesus is the Messiah. They believe that He is the Mashiach. Now I'm going to tell you something. Listen. I'll call another Jewish person who thinks that a certain rabbi, he is the Mashiach. He is the real true Mashiach. And let's say that in the end of days, we're going to realize that that rabbi that he believed in, that he was the Mashiach and about to be revealed, died and was not the Mashiach in the end. On that Jewish person, we will not say that he is a kofer, that he is like not Jewish. We're not going to disqualify his Judaism for his faith in a false Mashiach. So how come we going to disqualify the faith of a Christian person in a false Mashiach based on our understanding that that man was not Mashiach? It's only to say that he is wrong. But it's not giving us the ability to say on him that he is an idol worshiper. Because he's not worshipping. He does not say that he, that man, is God. He's just saying that that man he is the Mashiach. Maybe it's clear for you above 100% that that man is not Mashiach. But still it does not make that person an idol's worshiper. We're trying to create tolerance. We're just trying to create a place in our hearts to understand that people are coming from different backgrounds, with different faith systems, with different beliefs, and they also might be wrong. Also, that assumption might be totally wrong, but you will not going to disqualify and erase a person because of him being wrong. 